half yet, showing off some of his work. Our Josh Minnie is live at Gallery 912 on Coolidge Street. And Josh, tell us more about this exhibit. Marcel, Ron Campbell's work, he's retired from the TV cartoon business about 10 years ago, yet you can see his work on TV screens to this day. From Scooby-Doo to the Jetsons to the 1990s Nickelodeon series The Rugrats, he's been entertaining cartoon fans for generations. And for the next two nights, you can see his original artwork in person. In 1964, Ron Campbell was living in his native Australia and working as a freelance animator when he got a phone call from New York that changed his life. It was noon for him, but it was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning for me. woke me up in the middle of the night and said, Ron, we've sold, we've sold a, a television show and we'd like you to direct it. And I said, that's great, Al, what's the show? And he said, it's the Beatles. And I was taken aback. I said, Al... Insects make terrible characters for a children's show. Campbell soon realized he wouldn't be working with insects, but with the world's most popular rock band. The Beatles show was a huge success, launching his career in American television. Have you ever heard of a 67 share? I mean, a 67 share means, for those who are unaware of it, every hundred TV sets that are turned on at a given moment, 67 of them were watching the Beatles TV cartoon show. That was a rating to be envied. <laughs> Campbell later worked on the band's Yellow Submarine movie. From there, he worked on some of the most beloved cartoons, including The Flintstones, Winnie the Pooh, Scooby-Doo, The Smurfs, and Darkwing Duck, just to name a few. He also self-produced a program that appeared on PBS, The Big Blue Marble, which won two Emmys and a Peabody Award. It was a wonderful show for children. Uh, it introduced children to the way children live all over the world and how differently they live, and yet the children worldwide are all the same. We, we had a side issue of pen pals where a child in China could write to a child in Kenya, and the child in Kenya could write to a child in uh, Louisiana. Campbell now lives in Arizona, and although he's retired from television, He's still expanding his artistic horizons. When I retired in 2008, uh, it was a question of what the devil am I going to do, you know? Um, so I decided to paint. And what am I going to paint? Well, I decided to do what Chuck Jones had done, do paintings based on the cartoons I'd made. The Chuck Jones that Campbell is referring to is the famous Warner Brothers animator who's probably best known for his Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner Looney Tunes series. This exhibit runs until 8 p.m. tonight, and it runs again from 4 to 8 p.m. at Gallery 912 in Lafayette. And if you want to take some of Campbell's artwork home, you can get an original piece and you can get it signed. Reporting live in Lafayette, Josh Many, KTC TV3.